In this video, we'll find the oxidation numbers for each of the atoms here in HCN. So H is the white, C is the black, and the nitrogen, that's the purple. So we'll use these general rules here, and then a special rule to figure out the oxidation numbers. So as we go down, we can see hydrogen, when it's with a nonmetal, it has an oxidation number of plus one. So the hydrogen is going to be plus one. We don't see either carbon or nitrogen here in our rules. So when that's the case, the most electronegative of the two here will be assigned the number equal to the charge that it would have. So if we were to go to the periodic table, see nitrogen's in group 15, it has a three minus charge. So the oxidation number is going to be minus three. Based on that information, we know the neutral compounds, this is neutral, there's no plus or minus charge up here written, will have oxidation numbers that add up to zero. So minus three and plus one, that gives us a minus two. So for this all to be zero, the carbon, that has to be a plus two. So if we add all these numbers up, we get our zero. So to recap, we found the one we knew, and in this case, we took the more electronegative of the two, the nitrogen here, and used its ionic charge as the oxidation number. Based on that and the fact that this is a neutral compound and all the atoms' oxidation numbers add up to zero, we could figure out the carbon. So HCN is a little bit more challenging than some other compounds. But these are the oxidation numbers for HCN. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.